The boys of One Direction open up about Zayn leaving and that nasty Twitter feud. And Selena talks about her upcoming album. And we have a recap of Nina Dobrev's emotional TVD season six finale. All that and more on today's Hollywood Rundown. Happy Friday, you people. It is Friday. Yes, thank you, Ooh. Lord. Welcome back to the Daily Hollywood Rundown. I'm Erin Robinson. You know me. Danielle Robay is joining me today. We're hanging out, Hello. talking about all things Hollywood. Yeah, what's going on with Selena? Oh. I'm so glad you asked that question. In a Q&A live exclusive sesh, Selena was talking about her Neo campaign with a lot of her fans. Most of the questions were pretty lighthearted. Some of them got in there pretty deep. I think life is very, very, very hard. And um, I've never had anything come super easy to me, no matter what people may think. And um, I continue to be the best I can be. And I just want to enjoy it. So when Selena was asked about what's up for her this year, she said this. I've been endlessly working on my new album that's almost kind of close to being done. So Selena's been really busy. She shot four movies this year, no big deal. Four? Yeah, so I feel yeah. like the fact that we haven't got an album yet, I can forgive it, but I want that thing sooner than later. <laughs> no pressure. So after the fun questions were asked, things got a little bit more serious, and one of the fans asked Selena if she could change one thing about the world, what would she change? And she said this. I'd get rid of bullying. People are so mean, it's exhausting. Good answer. I would deactivate every single comment on any social media. Selena is coming from a real place when she answered that question. She wants to get rid of all the trolls. So if you're a troll out there on the internet, go away. And some other girls who know about trolls, Kendall and Kylie's new Sun campaign is out and it's very different from the last one. Okay, so I have three favorite moments. The first one is when Kendall and Kylie fight over the macaroons. I love that one too. I know, it's just like very sisterly. Definitely. My second one is Kendall being goofy and Kylie being unimpressed because, well, classic. And three is when they hold the dog's ears up at the end. It's just so, so cute. cute. Taylor Swift has released two new Bad Blood posters, Cara Delevingne and Mariska Hargitay. So Cara is Mother Chucker and Mariska is Justice, which makes sense mm. for her Law & Order role. It's confirmed now that Mariska and Ellen Pompeo, whose TV characters Taylor named her cats after, are both going to be in the music video. So are the cats going to be in the music video? Definitely. Spoiler alert, people. If you have not seen the finale of season six of The Vampire Diaries, you better walk away right now. Because <laughs> Jocelyn's about to break down the five things you need to know about what happened. Oh my gosh. So when Nina Dobrev said that she wanted this finale to be epic and powerful, girlfriend was not kidding. I was ugly crying the entire time I was watching the episode right off the bat at the very beginning of the episode. This is our first item. Sorry to break it to you, Liv is dead. But she does not die in vain because she saves her boyfriend. She basically allows him to kill her so that he can turn back into a wolf, trigger the curse, and then of course he can go on living. The next big thing you guys have to know about this finale is that it was definitely Alaric's most painful episode, yet Homeboy had to let his wife die in his arms at the altar of their wedding and then he tried to kill himself unsuccessfully. His acting, Matt Davis's acting in this episode was just haunting, so major props to him. Next thing you guys need to know is Elena. So of course this is Nina Dobrev's final episode on the show. What the heck is happening to her? Well, she's human in case you missed the last few episodes. She's back to being human once again and Crazy Kai has cast a spell on her that links her to Bonnie's life, she will not wake up from her Sleeping Beauty state until Bonnie dies. The last thing I wanna mention in regards to Elena is that it was really cool that Nina Dobrev got to have a final scene with every single person on the show. It was almost like this dreamlike state thing that they did where Elena was in her casket, people walked up to her, touched her, and then they were sent into a dreamlike trance with her where she got to say goodbye to them. Well, they did set us up for next season, and it looks like there's gonna be some sort of time jump. And in fact, the producers have confirmed that that will happen. It looks like Mystic Falls is in some sort of post-apocalyptic state. And then the one glimmer of happiness, guys. Steriline, we can look forward to shippers, having a lot of fun with this one next year because Stefan and Caroline are going to be together, we think. 
And that's what happened. And for the juicy juice you've all been waiting for about One Direction, you guys. The boys of One Direction appeared on their very first talk show last night since the group became a foursome. They were hanging out with James Corden on the Late Late Show. And Corden just jumped right into asking Louie about that massive Twitter fest between him, Zayn, and Nani Bully. Because Zayn Malik has left the band. Louie, are you in touch with him? Have you spoken to him? I mean, there's, yeah, there's been a, there's been a bit of back and forth. But have you... No, have you... I know. I, I've never been one... Uh, I've never been very good at biting my tongue. Maybe I get it off my mum. It's just one of those things, you know, it's, that's, Twitter's great for connecting with the fans, but also if you feel like saying something <coughs> that you probably shouldn't, it's also good for that as well. Have you cleared the air at all? Yeah, it's all resolved. It's all Really? Good. Yeah, all good in the Oh, that's James. nice. Then Liam chimed in on Zayn leaving the group saying this. At first, we were a little bit angry, obviously. We were surprised, but we, I think we all kind of knew the general vibe that Zayn was feeling. It's like, you know... Had you felt that for quite a while? Had you felt like yeah, he, he I mean, wasn't you could, you could, you could sort of tell. I mean, you know, from the outside, people could tell <coughs> the job as well. And it's just like, there's certain parts of this job that Zayn loved and there's certain parts of the job that he, that he didn't. And if you don't like your job and you've got to follow your heart sometimes and go where you need to go and, you know... But it wasn't all serious talk. The boys joined in on a dodgeball skit with James oh. Corden. They looked ridiculous. Um, they were playing against these an all-girls team called the Ball Busters, <laughs> and the pun was definitely intended, so and good. I LOL'd like cray. Ooh, Harry takes one right to the style. Let's take another look at that. If you're squeamish, you may want to look away. You won't have any trouble hitting the high notes after that one. Earlier this week, E! News reported that J-Lo and her ex-boyfriend Casper Smart got back together, but she went on Ellen and she still won't call him her boyfriend. So take a look. You're not single. I'm, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm kind of not, and I kind of am. Is that kind of lying and kind of No, lying? no. If she goes on to say, quote, have you ever been at a point in your life where you just don't know, like you're not sure? Okay, I think we've all been at that point. I get what she's saying. She's hooking up with Casper and hanging out with other people, right? Yeah, I think that's exactly what's happening. I don't know, I she's feel like they've pictures. known each other for so long at this point. I feel like you should know what it is. Yeah. It is clever at time. We have yes, some shout out, starting with Diana Blue Pizza Girl. That's, that name is making me hungry. Pizza yeah. sounds so good right now. She says, I don't know who you are, <laughs> but I love you. And we don't know who you are, but we love you back. <laughs> we have another shout out to Nora Awalin. And it says, my graduation ceremony is literally starting in a few minutes, and I'm here watching the DHR instead of getting ready. Love you guys. Hashtag by high school. Congratulations. Yes, education is so important. Go to your graduation. Stop watching DHR, but thank you. But he's done with all the hard work at this point. It's That's all playtime. Go play. Right. Go play. Have a good time. Okay, clever of the week. I'm going to mess up this name. Danielle's been trying to help me practice, <laughs> but I'm way too country to get this right. We think it's French. You got it. You got it. It goes to someone who actually tweeted us a photo, which you get so many kudo points if you do that, because that takes a lot of effort. Mm -hmm. It was a photo of a little message on his refrigerator that he or she put up. I can't tell it from your picture. It says, watch clever news, P.S or else I won't make you Milo or Milo. I don't really know what that We're means. We're thinking it might be meatloaf. Meatloaf, I hope it's not like <laughs> Milo the dog, because oh God. if that's the case, definitely don't want to eat Milo. Talk about country. Uh, this person is Chame Dutois. Did I get it right? You got, you're so good. I Maybe, we'll Dutois. see. We like uh, but you name. guys tweeted, but you tweeted us, so I put this up on my fridge, got to be spreading the word out there, XX to you, my friend. The boys of One Direction, do you think that they handled themselves maturely when talking about Zayn leaving the group? I gotta know what you're thinking about that one. And I wanna know what you think is going on with JLo's relationship. Is Casper on the same page as her or is she running the roost over there? I don't think he's complaining. <laughs> I wouldn't be complaining either. You guys, let us know what you're thinking in the comments. We love you guys so much. It's so, so awesome much. to hear your comments and your, see your tweets. You guys rock. We love you. We'll see you back here on Monday on the Daily Hollywood Rundown. Holy cow, Miley and Ariana's brand new music video for Don't Dream It's Over is out and we have that in the video box on the left and Brittany and Iggy's new video for Pretty Girls is also out and it is retro.